Check it out. <laughs> that's that's like it just melted. We've gotten we've gotten a little bit cooler now, friends. Or pardon me, uh, warmer. So what happens is we we collect rain, right? For for you see, but it comes out here. We just pop it out here because we don't want it going up against the house. You see. So that's the plan with that. It is sopping. It's just been disgusting. I, that's all I can tell you. It, it's just been disgusting. Now this is our snow. We don't usually get dry snow. This is sopping, rude, just disgusting. It's just what it is. We're blowing still. It, it was ripping this morning. The, the uh, whatchamacallit, was, was, the power was fluttering. Yeah, it's just, I, I'm so grateful for the bunker right now, friends. I am, I, I'm so grateful for the bunker. And we've got projects on the go, but I'll tell you, it'll sure be nice when we get the cut again. For now, we got our axes, and we got, a, we got a, a neat one on the go, friends. You guys ever seen these? Um, this is the famous undercutter, okay? This is the undercutter axe. And uh, they're neat. They, they were actually designed here on Vancouver Island, believe it or not. They just were. Uh, really cool. And uh, so we've also got this beautiful thing from Bill. Bill, are you on? Are you? Are, we, Billy, old boy. And we got axes wrapped. We got stuff. We got stuff moving steady. Double bits we got for people. I just made that crazy double bit. Um... Adam. Yes, Adam. Yes, Adam. It's you this time I'm talking about. It's not the other Adam. It's you, buddy. <laughs> uh, Adam was dropped a real surprise on the channel a while back. Just a, a kind, kind man. You know what I'm talking about, brother. Uh, so I'm going to light the fire, kind of get roaring here. And uh, I may get after, because Adam, I got you covered. Yeah. Yeah, you're covered. Yeah, I need to light the fire. It's cold. See that core right there, friends? The core of the tree. This is cedar, see that? So there's the core. Look at that, little knot, teeny little knot right at the bottom. Look at that, just, that's what's gonna screw your day up. Right there, look at it. There's a teeny little knot right there. And there's the core of the wood right there. A cedar core, dead. Since day one in the tree, dead. So now I do a couple shingles. I got my new suspenders on that I love. I'm a suspender dude, we all know that. And if you're not one yet, maybe you haven't experienced the joys of suspenders. Because it is joyful, very joyful. I don't do that for 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 because I need to start the fire like that. The reason I do it is it's instant fire, and what it actually does is warms up the flue really fast. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like it it warms up that flue really quick, so that you've got yourself a draw and a draft instantly because it's cold out, and uh, so that's the reason for that, friends. 
There's no other reason that it's cedar. It lights up really nice. But yeah, I could start with a little match. But you don't have that instantly. This blue, you can't touch this right now. You can barely touch it. I'm not joking you. It's, it, it's already hot, so you got dry. So that's why I do that. And it's cold in here. It's cold. I want fire. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> You'll be singing that all day now. Uh, oh, there's some pitch wood right there. That's going to be deadly. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for the fights tonight. Anyway, we are a hey, beaver tooth. Beaver Tooth Handle Company. Thanks for the little pencil, partner. I appreciate it. I love it, actually. I give you fire. Now, I got a few things on the go. Uh, in the bunker. Hey, and thanks for the friends that went over to the uh, one man and his Ford truck versus Big Dead Tree. Deadly video. Uh, uh, friends, that had me going. Uh, if something had failed that day, uh, I'd have been... It had been a terrible, terrible mess. It had been an insurance claim. It would have been an insurance claim. 100%. You get going the wrong way with a draw knife, you'll dig right in and take a big chunk out of it. And no one likes that, do we? Let's see what happens here now. I want to see this. I think this is actually a good fit here. Where's our axe, friends? Where'd we put it? Oh, we're on the scale. Look at this. I bet you this is going to be. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, that's almost down. It's almost down. Yeah, see, this is going to be ridiculous. Like, I mean, ridiculous. Oh, man. See? Hey. Whiskey River, again, nice job. Very nice job. The Walters have a big eye, friends. Kind of like a plum, very big eye. This is going to be a crazy unit, friends. Here's a good sign. Here's a good sign. Look at Look at this. That's hard to hold up with one finger. I'll tell you that right now. There it is right there. Okay? There's our balance point right there. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Uh, not too, not too front heavy. I got a feeling that my camera's doing the, doing the focus thing or something right now. Look it. Look what's happening. See, it's like that. And then boom. Is that, I think that's a cool thing. I think it's, it's on its own system now or something. I like it. Whatever happened, I'm going to leave it. All righty, friends. We got to. We got a little softagon action on the go, friends. I, I just, I like the softagon. Plus, this handle was a little fat down in this area, so I brought it in. I brought it into a much better. <laughs> it was a little fatter at the bottom. All right, now, before we get going, I'll let that settle down. Here, here's our head, okay? I want to show you this. Th this is important. I I'm going to sharpen this up for the fella. Excuse me. This this axe has actually been used. It has been, and I'll show you what's going on. It, this freaking thing's deadly, friends. It's a Walters, right? Look at it. I'm going to bring this around for you. Look at it. Walters. And it's big, friends. These things are big, you know? And th look at the profile of it. Look, she's a splitting profile. These things are, I'll tell you something right now. You're going to be impressed. These things split wood. Think about what you can do with that when you get into some stringy, naughty stuff. Flipping, th toss it around, start ripping and tearing with this thing. Friends, these are a neat tool. They, I, uh, they are. So, but what we need to do right now is we need to form an edge. I, I'm going to town on this uh, for, for the gentleman. I am. I, I'm, I'm going to, it's Tasha. I'm going to go to town on it for her. We're going to sharpen this axe, Okay. But this is what we're going to do. I don't want to use this that I got on there because it's one of my one, one of my ones that I use for wood. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to take one of these uh, second handers here.
That's it. Yeah, but that's just, a, that's one of them beaver tooth handles. I thought we were gonna wait for... We are, I'm just holding it there, just putting it on there. Oh, it looks nice. It does look nice. Not bad. Those undercutters are cool. These things are really neat. They used those around here, that was a... They were, they were designed here. Yeah, that was a local, a local thing, eh? It was. Camel River, what I believe. Courtney, knocking the great big undercuts out. The huge undercuts. That's what this was for. Because uh, they, they used to make them square. They, they couldn't come up like no, that. no, the, the square ones, then, buddy. So they just go, straight in. That's right. Make a, a that's it. So, so what this was for, friends, a lot of people, they they, they, they don't know. So, so what it is, is back in the day when they used to cut. They, with these things. Yeah, with, with the power saws, friends. With these things. A lot of the carburetors. Yeah, there again, he's just showing the saw. So. Heavy, oh, that's really heavy. <laughs> they would cut into the tree like this, friend, straight in, drop it down, maybe two cuts, three cuts, and then they would actually use this and they would bash those undercuts out with this. It was called an undercutter, friends. So that's what they're used for. And I've got some beauties here. Dude, did you see this one? Oh, no. Look at that one. And they made these out of old double bits, eh? Well, I. I doesn't. No, it was no, made like this. Yeah. It wasn't. It, they probably used some the of pattern. Them, some of them were made out of double bits. I know. Yeah. Well, they. they would, that was they after. Would fabricate them yeah, they did. Yeah. That but is, that is that is built that's black diamond. That's a freaking black diamond. Right uh, I'm there. keeping that one. Yeah, that is a nice example. And you know another reason I'm keeping you can't this get one? Get rid of that. Fleck Brothers, look at the profile on it, yeah. son. It's a splitting yeah, profile. Get rid of that. And that's what I've given uh, given our Tasha here. Tasha, our friend, is is a splitting profile. It, it's because because he's going to split wood with it. But what we're going to do now, friends, is I, I'm going to doctor up the the head a bit. Here it is. Here I'm just going to get some sandpaper on it and doctor it up a bit. What are you up to, Gant? Nothing. So friends, I like to just, I don't like to get too carried away with my, with my, uh, my cleanup on my axe heads. They're an old axe head. That's just what they are. I don't like to take the life out of them and, and try and make it look like a new head. That's not my style. Uh, it, it truly isn't. I, I like it. My axes to look old, um, just like they were used, you know, like used, not tried to be shined up. And to look like something it's not. It's used. It's got years of grit and grime and sap. Oil. Dirt. Rust. Pitting. I don't like taking that stuff off. I never have. So I don't. But what I do do. And I've called it this for years. I call it silvering. And I've always called it that. Uh. Uh, it, because it all it does is bring a little bit of the silvering out. That's all it does. Just on the edges, here and there. That's all. It's just, I, I like stuff to look beat up and used from its era. That's just my thing. I've always been like that. Yeah. Talk to you in a minute. Okay. I think. I think we've got a finished product here. We got what we're after. Oh, see, see what it does for me is it brings out the beauty of the steel. Never mind the, like here. Look at this. I want to show you this. This is this is what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> I love the look of this. Look at friends. Here, here's what I'm talking about. You're not going to want to miss Buck and Stock 2020. <laughs> Look, let, let's get into this for a minute. The, c come on. See the edge now? We totally straightened out. Look at this. You see? It's just much more attractive to the eye. Let's get into the, into the uh, Walters here now and see how that turned out. 
Oh, yeah, see? Oh, dear Lord. See all this black left and a little silvering here and there. And sometimes I'll take a little more off the bit so that when, you, when you're splitting, it's a little smoother entry. Oh, look at the camera work on that fella. Oh, dear, dear, dear me. But see, see, you see what's going on here, eh, friends? Here, let's not, let's not, let's, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. This thing's freaking ready to go on. This is an interesting one, friends. Very interesting, I had to taper this thing. It's an interesting fit, we'll have to see how it goes. Either way, it's gonna be good because of the actual fit. Um, but this will, uh, this will, this will be interesting. Okay, so I'm very happy. And am I ever glad? Am I ever glad, friends, that I did what I just did? I, um, <clears throat> the, the, it, the, actually the wedge needed to be tapered. It needed to be tapered. Um, I've almost, you can see how it's going in further here first because it was, it was wider here. So this had to be an interesting fit. It's getting a really nice grab here now. I was hoping I would get more. Uh, I didn't even think I'd get that much. So this is a bonus. Going forward, this is a bonus. Hear that? Yeah, see that? Ah, yeah. See that? that that's beautiful. <clears throat> I was able to smash down the, t the tailored part, like the tighter part, get it major and then it opens this up and that force down and further. That's what we wanted. We got it, friends. That was that makes me happy. That makes me really happy. I mean, it is. You're always pushing the, <clears throat> pushing the limits here and there. And little tolerances and <laughs> she's done. Tasha, she's done. Yeah, see, this is... This is neat. I have not made one of these in a long time, friends. I love these things. I do. They're close to my heart because they were made on Vancouver Island. The undercutter, right? Yeah. I know. It's deadly. It, it. So here's a fire axe. Look, I'll show you. Here's a good old fire axe. We're making this for our buddy. Look at it. For Mr. Adam Winshield. Winshittle. There's a fire axe. You see, it's got a smacked up toe. I got another one here, but it was it's bent. It's really bent. So that's fire axe. Somebody busted the toe or, or just bent it or whatever. I don't know what for, but we'll fix it. Uh, so there's the difference. Big difference. It's neat.
I just finished skanking away the remaining bit of curl. We couldn't get any better on the on the freaking <laughs> shoulder there. She's on there dandy, friends. Really, really nice. I just finished setting the wedge there and you see? It turned out real nice. Real, real nice. Just a bit of a bit of dress up, friends, and uh that great big undercutter's done. Axes are wonderful. They get us outside. <clears throat> Excuse me. They get our hearts uh, pumping, friends. They just do. Uh, it's a good thing all the way around. Um, so for me, they've done a, a couple different things. I didn't realize I would be that axes would be in my life in 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 this capacity. I didn't I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming, friends. My, my, my wedge banger really is where it started, the wedge banger, the one over there. Um, and friends, I just did not see this coming. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> so uh, what a journey, what a community. Tasha, there you go, my dear. I hope you guys like it. Let me know when you get it. It is a different feel to an axe. It's a it's a heavy it's a heavy head. It's five pounds. It's five pounds. They look very cool. I love the look of these things. I, I just this is my heritage though. You gotta remember this was made on Vancouver Island where I live. This is cool. You know, Walter's got a hold of it. Which is so cool. Friends, thanks for watching my videos. You know what to do if you liked it. You know what to do if you didn't like it. Because you got one and you got one of them. You got you as either one. You know what to do. I'd appreciate it if you did it. Over and out, friends. Be kind to one another. Talk to you in the next video. Oh, friends, be kind out there. So, friends, something I haven't announced yet. Uh, right off the hop. I haven't announced it. Um, the, the, the winner to the 100,000 subscribers is Mr. Chris Klein. And he guessed January 8th that we would flip over to 100,000 subscribers. Chris Klein guessed the date. He did. So Chris, um, I think you've given me your address because I got them in my texting now. Mikey Yo-Yo. Mikey freaking Yo-Yo. <laughs> it's Mikey's birthday today, friends. Mikey Yo-Yo's birthday. Today, the 18th. We got to wish him a happy birthday. I might even do a separate little video for him because I love the guy. Um, we have 107,000 now. So we've gotten 7,000 more subscribers since 10 days ago, which is freaking mind-blowing to me. But listen, I, I, I thought about this thing. You, you guys know how I like to do giveaways. I just like giving stuff. I always have. I enjoy giving. I like to see people because I know what it's like to receive something. I do, friends, um, from you people. It feels wonderful. It's a nice, nice feeling. And it's a wonderful feeling giving as well. So we've done a lot of that on the channel. You guys have done a lot of it. Um, so Chris, you won this, buddy. You, you, you won this. And I said this would be a big, big giveaway and I meant it. So you got stuff coming in the mail. And I rehafted this uh, Arvika head. This is one of my personal Arvika axes that I've had for, could be 20 years. Could be. Straight goods, friends. I've, I, I've got two. I've had two Arvikas for a long, long time. And I rehafted this axe. I wanted to see what it would feel like on a Whiskey River handle. This handle's amazing. This is a big axe. It is a four and a half pound Arvika that I just basically sanded up, cleaned up. Nothing special. I'm not going to polish it. But it is a dandy. I may even pound a wedge in it. I may. I think I may. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I, I, I fit it. I fit it really good. Really good. It's a fucking freaking special, buddy, for you, Christopher. Yeah, brother, you're getting it. Why the hell not? Why should I? Just, this is a freaking nice axe. And I want you to have it. That's a big ordeal for this channel. 100,000 subscribers. 
thousands of grams. It's a big number. It's a big number. I got to be careful because I like to give stuff away. I do. I like giving stuff away. If you've been on a few of our uh, live feeds, I think it was two in a row back to back. I think on Sunday or maybe we skipped a Sunday. I literally just went, George, I think you need an axe today. And I freaking sent him an axe. And then our, our, our buddy, I, I think he's Greek. I'm not sure, but he's from, is it Switzerland? Did I get that right? I'm not sure. I forget now. Sweden, Switzerland, Norway. <laughs> I forget. Anyways, friends, Chris Klein. Let's all thank Chris Klein. He won the 100,000 giveaway. Okay, friends? And he's getting this freaking axe and some other goodies too. Coming to him in the mail. It's a good, good, good giveaway. It's a nice axe. Chris, we love you, buddy. Well done. Jatoba wedge, we got him getting, baby, got him get my Jatoba wedge. I like my Jatoba, my Jatoba wedge. She's hot as a rock, thinking got to do a job. Over a newt.